Yo, we just finishing up with the workout, staying consistent, staying on the hustle. I'm out here sitting in my driveway, smoking my cigar, having my protein shake. Y'all see the new hat? I got new snapbacks for sale. Tap in on my website, theghettobodybuilder.com, man. We got a quick video, though. We're going to talk about success and what moves the needle when it comes to seeing success in life. This is the main thing when it comes to success. You have to be willing to take risk. The biggest risk in life is not taking any risk. And I'm not just talking about any risk. I'm not saying to go out here and risk it all, robbing the bank, selling drugs, doing crime, you know, something like that. That's something stupid that's going to land you in prison. That's hustling backwards. I'm talking about taking calculated risk. This is the thing I see with a lot of people, right? You know, some a lot of people in life, you know, they do stuff like go play the lottery every week for 30, 40 years, hoping to get rich. They'll go to the casino, gamble a thousand dollars away, money they don't, they can't afford to lose. And they'll be scared, you know, to take that risk when it comes to starting that business idea they got. Or, you know, investing some money in something like the stock market or crypto or getting started in real estate. You got this grand idea, but you scared to take a risk on it because you like, I'm afraid of failing or I'm afraid of losing. You know, I'm afraid to lose money, but you will go gamble away some money. You, you will go play the lottery ticket, $20 every week. That's what, that might be them $100,000 over the course of 20 years for something that you never gonna get rich. The odds of you getting rich off of that is what, one in a million. Million, man but you know what i'm saying that's the biggest thing right there that's the difference between getting wealthy or getting rich and just getting by you have to go ahead and take risks a lot of people you they stand around they look and seeing what everybody else is gonna do seeing who gonna make the first move it's just like at a football game i like to use this analogy all the time you at a football game you got a hundred thousand people in the crowd in the stands watching the game but it's 22 players on the field you want to be one of the players on the field, making plays, making moves, going after what it is you want out of your life. You know what I'm saying? That's how you get ahead in life. You know, you got to take risks. That's the main thing right there. This is the next thing. You have to be able and be willing to do every day what most people do on occasions. You got to be willing to show up every day, time in, time out. Even when you losing, even when you, you feel like you ain't having no motion, you feel like you just spinning your wheels, that's the difference between getting ahead, elevating, separating yourself from the crowd, and just being an average Joe. You got to do what the eagles do. What do an eagle do? You see an eagle, an eagle is up in the sky, flying around, soaring high by his lonesome. He's not on the ground hanging out with the pigeons. Eagles don't hang out with pigeons. You see a, a group of pigeons, you throw some breadcrumbs. What do the pigeons do? They flock together. They trying to swoop in and they trying to compete for limited resources. The eagle, he's thinking smarter. He's thinking on an elevated state of mind. He's up above the pigeons. He see the horizon. He see the land of opportunity. That's how you got to do this right here, man. You know, you can look at, for instance, like with me, man. You know, when I said as far as showing up every day, that's why I'm going so hard. That's why I'm grinding so hard with this YouTube thing, man. You know, I'm making videos every day. I'm showing up on it seven days a week. I'm posting damn near every day with the content, whether it be the long YouTube videos, the uh, YouTube shorts. I'm posting all my snaps, uh, uh, working out motivational pieces on uh, Instagram, uh, TikTok, I'm posting everywhere. I'm showing up every day. You know, some people, they may take the weekends off, rest up. That's when the real hustlers lock in even harder on the weekends, man. You know, you got your nine to five job. I got a nine to five job too. You know, you tired of your nine to five. The weekends is where you put in that extra hustle. You working on your side hustles. You working on your dream. Don't spend all your time and all your efforts making somebody else rich, your job or your employer and not putting no time or investment into you. No, it don't work like that, man. You will be destined to work for somebody else for all of your life. You know, you got to be able to take that risk. You have to be able to jump off the porch. This is the next thing when it comes to being successful, elevating in life. You just got to be yourself. At the end of the day, you have to be authentic. You got to be 100 with it, man. That's the big thing these days. I'm seeing that even on YouTube, man. A lot of people, they posting videos, you know, 
And it's like they just being themselves. That's what like people like to see. They want to see you just be yourself, not try to come on social media, come online, trying to be something you not. Man, me, I just do me. You know, the right people, they're going to find me. They'll gravitate towards me. If they don't like me, that's cool, man. You know, me, I understand that. I learned this early in life. You're not going to be for everybody. You don't want to be for everybody because everybody don't move the same. Everybody ain't cut from the same cloth. So just move to your own beat or your own drum. Do you do what you like to do? Do this life shit how you want to do, babe, and you're going to be just fine. You're going to see you're going to see that you start to elevate and you start to separate from the crowd. You know, it ain't always about who could paint the prettiest picture, who could post the uh the best Instagram post and stuff like that, man. It's all about who going to keep it raw, who going to keep it 100, who going to tell the realest story. You know, you see me, but I started from nothing. I remember when I was growing up, man, I little kid running around in the projects. You know, I ain't even supposed to be here. The statistics say I'm supposed to be dead or locked up in prison by now for doing crime, a, a victim lost to the streets, man. But I beat all them odds. You know, just being me, staying true to myself, going after what I want out of life. You know, I never, I never accepted that. I was grew up. I grew up in the projects. Grew up poor. I never accepted none of that, man. I didn't care about none of that, man. I I, st I got up. I stayed focused. I stayed on my grind, and I just kept going. I never stopped. I never let stuff. When I had setbacks, when I had people tell me I couldn't do it, I ain't listen to none of that. That just motivated me and encouraged and inspired me to grind even harder. That's what moves the needle right there, man. What you going to do in the face of adversity? What you going to do when the odds are stacked in your favor, man? When the statistics say you ain't even supposed to be here right now, man. How you going to win? How you going to play the hand that you was dealt in life, man? You got to figure out what you going to do. You got to figure out a way to win with the hand you was dealt, man. A lot of us, we wasn't born with no silver spoons. None of a lot of us weren't born rich. We ain't got no rich parents, rich family to bail us out, man. You know, a lot of us, we starting from the mud. You got to get it out the mud and you got to turn that dirt into marble. That's how you hustle up. That's how you win in life. Everybody loves a success story, man. When you come from nothing and you become something, man, don't nothing like that motivate and inspire people and it give them hope. You know, you see somebody else, they started from the same place as you and what like they started off. They parents worth $10 million, so it's like they had an unfair advantage. They had a head start in life. Like I said, I grew up, man, we grew up in Section 8. We grew up poor, you know. Now look at me, man. I'm doing good for myself. You know, I've been in my career, uh, what, 13 years. I've been able to buy a house, stuff like that. You know, I'm doing good. I'm doing well. And I like to use my story to try to encourage and motivate people, man, that may have came up or that's coming up in a similar situation to just keep going and to never let nobody tell you that you can't do it, man. You got to, they going to have to prove it to me. They gonna have to prove that I can't do it. Otherwise, I ain't got nothing to say to me, man. I don't wanna hear no negativity around me. I don't wanna hear no haters around me, man. You know, I'm gonna do this shit and I'm gonna do this life shit how I want. This is the last day, man, when it comes to being successful and elevating in life. You gotta be able to out hustle everybody that's around you, man. I don't care if it's friend, family, I don't care who it is, enemies. Haters, man, you know what I'm saying? You just got to keep going. And the most successful people, you got to understand this, man. The most successful people in the world, they working on their craft every day. You know, you got people that's billionaires in this world to this day. They still getting up 6, 7, 8 a.m. in the morning, grinding like they just starting out. Like they on a mission trying to goddamn get to where they trying to be. You know what I'm saying? You got to keep going, man. You got to be willing to outgrind everybody. You got to be willing to put in the work when the work, man, it's like, like, damn, man, I'm tired. I'm this and that. My back hurt, man. I got all this on my plate, man. You know, the goal in life is to eat, right? So you can't cry and complain about your plate being full. No, it don't work like that. How that work out? 
you crying and complaining or you making all these excuses. You want the world to feel sorry for you just because you got a lot on your plate. I thought the goal was to eat. You know, like I said, at the end of the day, you got to find a way to win with the hand you was dealt. That's the only way you're going to come out. That's the only way you're going to rise up above this madness that's going on out here, man. You got to hustle your way out of poverty, whatever you're going through, man, into success. That's the only way. Ain't no other way, man. Ain't nobody coming to save you. Ain't nobody finna throw you a handout, an alley-oop. None of that, man. You know, when I'm doing this, this ghetto bodybuilder movement, man, I ain't asked nobody for a, a co-sign. I didn't, you know, reach out to people that already blew up, that's doing bigger th and better things than me, you know, asking them, yo, can you put me on? Can you shout me out, man? You know, it came naturally. I just let this grow organically, man. They rock with me, man. They give me a shout out, man. I, if they, they tap me in today, people, you know, I got new people, new eyes on my project, then cool. If not, I'm back on the grind. The grind don't stop. I got to keep showing up, keep putting in this hustle every day, man. I'm going to keep stamping. I'm going to keep stumping. I'm going to keep smacking shit like Ray Lewis, man. They don't respect me. I got to make them respect me. Y'all like this video, make sure you subscribe to my channel at The Ghetto Body Better. Follow me on Instagram, TikTok at The Ghetto Body Better. I got that merchandise for sale. Y'all see that, man? No pain, just gains. I got the hat to match with the shirt too, man. Grind harder, man. Cop you a hoodie, a t-shirt, a hat, man. Show your boy some love, man. We got it coming, man. We got hella plays in motion. The grind don't stop. I'm over here thinking right now, even as I'm making this video. See, I got all this. Look at this, man. I got all this stuff, all these notes, man. All these different ideas I'm working on, man. The grind don't stop. It's, man, look, it's Sunday, man. I'm supposed to be laid up in the house, chilling, relaxing, watching football, man. I posted a video this morning. You know, when I uh I did my daily pre-workout ritual, somebody commented, they said, man, man, it's Sunday, man, it's rest day. You supposed to be watching football. I said, man, fuck a rest day. I'm not where I want to be at. I'm like, what I need a rest day for? What is this like people that go to the club every week, but they not where they want to be at? I'm like, what are you celebrating? What are you going out and celebrating for? You know what I'm saying? I'm not where I need to be. So I don't need to be taking my foot off the pedal easy enough. I need to stay locked in and keep grinding, man. Rest, relaxation, a rest day. That's for rich people in my book. Successful, wealthy people. They got it. They got the, uh, the opportunity to take a rest day. They up. They where they want to be at in life. They can afford to take that. If you ain't where you want to be at in life, you can't afford to take no rest days right now, man. 2024, it's almost over. We got to finish this thing out strong. 2025, we hitting the ground running, man. It's a renewed mission. And it's like, you got to hit that ground running so hard. And just like, you want to be out the blocks like Hussein Boat, man. You know, I'm coming. I'm like a ninja, a thief in the night, man. I'm coming for everything they said I couldn't have. I'm coming to, for all them statistics that was against me, all the odds that was stacked against me. I'm coming for it all with a vengeance, baby. Y'all got any input, thoughts, comments on this video? Make sure y'all drop a comment, show some love. Hit that like button, man. Share this video. Hit that subscribe button, man. And we just going to keep on grinding. Y'all know how we coming. Let's get motivated.